What you doing? Setting up my pole. Setting up your pole. It's awesome. Yep. Hey y'all, welcome back to the DG Outdoors channel. In today's video, we're gonna go fishing here at Brookside Park. I don't know if we'll catch anything. The last time we were here, we caught two fish, but they were on uh, some pieces of corn, and I actually uh, fell in the water trying to throw a fish back. Um, but My fault. I'm about ready to put the Zebco three, the Zebco 33 on this little synergy pole right here that I got, and uh, we're gonna have some fun. So y'all stay tuned. Alright guys, so I'm just trying to get this fishing line out of here, it's caught in the reel itself, got a handle, and then other than that I'll be putting it on here, nothing big, um, gotta pull some more line back through here, I'm not sure what test is on here, or even what kind of fishing line this is, um, maybe as old as the 80s, because it said 1989, on a copyright date on here, so I don't know, but here in a second, Mamma 98 is going to get fishing. There's a fish right down there, I just saw it make rings on the top of the water. So yep, y'all stick with us. What are we using today for bait there, DJ Outdoors? Got a jig head, a little jig head. And a pack of white grubs. Don't even know where I got them, but that's what I'm going to use. But I did get the Zebco 33 on here on the Synergy 10 pole. It says Rhino Test. It says 1989 Burnswick right there. So I think that's how old this uh, reel is. But what are you putting on your pole? What you got there? I've got corn. Corn, huh? Yep. I was just trying to use a knife to clean out the eye of this to put the line through because it was painted over or whatever. Yep. Yep. Well, good luck to you. Mm-hmm. All right, here we go. First cast of the day. Got some corn on there. Say hi. Hi. Oh, you got one coming up to it. There. Just kind of looking at it. Little fish. It looks interesting. Give it a couple pops. Maybe give it into there you go. The fish is just looking at it. Not interested. No, nope, not yet. Are they? So where'd you get your new pole at? I got it at Walmart. You Walmart. got it for me at Walmart. Watch out. Okay. It's called the Worm Gear, 13 bucks. That's something new, boy. I think since the fish are exposed out here, I think they know that they Yeah. I'm not very hungry this morning. The last time you fished with corn, they like swarmed it and wanted to go after it. Yep. So. Sometimes they're a little scared. Ah, oh, well. I wouldn't blame them. Uh-oh. All right, well, here in a little bit. We'll see me fishing. So she did. She covered that whole entire hook with corn. Look at that. Look at that. Hook. It's a garland of corn. <laughs> yep. Well, I don't know if I can see it down in there, but it's down in the water right there. There's an 
ant on me. There you go. Nah, they're a little shy today. Yep. That guy just left. He was fishing down the creek down there. I'm going to be doing a little yard sale fishing challenge for you guys because that Synergy pole I actually got at a yard sale. Well, my ex-father-in-law, but it was his yard sale and I got the fishing pole from him and then I got that Zebco 33 reel at a yard sale yesterday. So you guys get to see that thing and how well it works and everything and do a little yard sale fishing challenge for myself. I'm using this for a couple casts now one thing I can tell you retrieval isn't very easy and I even like mess with the drag and everything I mean what do you expect for a 20 year plus year old fishing uh, reel there the cast well I mean I mean it's just really hard to maneuver in but it works it's very functional but uh, I haven't caught anything yet except for grass like that He's catching grass. He's already lost a hook already. So this is not the funnest place to go fishing, but it's the closest to our house, like five minutes down the road. So yeah, what happened to you when you lost your hook? Well, I lost a big hook. Oh well. How? To the bank down there banks are full of these weeds and trees and bushes and stuff. You bring a machete and cut it down. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Oh, he just swam right by the little grub. Its nose touched it and it swam off. It didn't want anything to do with it. I was sitting here bouncing it off the bottom like that. And now this is washed. Oh my gosh. Into the other tree we go. Back into the weeds. Guys, check out that green spider right there. Look at him. He's gonna crawl up to the corn. Get away. Oh, whoa, he's got a web. Look at that. Anyways. I lost my lure in that tree. Maybe I need to tie on another hook. We're not having any luck. They're swimming away from all our baits like normal. So, we're probably going to call this video. We're not catching anything. and uh, So, you want to do the outro? Alright guys, so this was our little video. We didn't catch anything, but lost a bunch of baits and stuff, so. Hi. We're going to get out of here, y'all. So remember, the way I always end my videos, like, comment, subscribe. Jesus loves you. And we will see you on, on the next, next one. one. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.